All right, one, two, three, microphone's working. All right, hi everyone. Um, this is my review of the Surface and I'm actually using Mischief on the Surface. So I'm gonna show you some stuff. Um, hopefully I can keep this under 10 minutes. If not, I might go a little bit longer. So um, first, when you first launch the, uh, the Mischief, actually the, this is Mischief version um, 1.08. Uh, my Surface Pro. I'm using a Wacom Bamboo Stylus on the Surface Pro. It's actually um, uh, the one I bought. It's uh, made of um, uh, carbon fiber uh, by uh, Wacom. It's the Bamboo Feel or Free or something like that, but it's not free. It's about a hundred bucks. Um, and, and this is Mischief software. It's approximately uh, uh, $65 Canadian for it so as you can tell I'm from Canada um, so that's for that so first thing I'm going to do is as you notice this is um, the, the canvas itself there's actually no size and dimension it's it's called uh, infinite canvas it's it's really neat uh, so what I'm going to do is I notice every time I start it I always have to go to preference I, I don't like the default cursor which is basically this what you're seeing here every time I'm on the canvas so I usually switch to the crosshair then um, you can pretty much leave this. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll switch it to smooth and see. I'm not really sure what this says. A free curve, but um, default is default, smooth, smoother, and smooth this. I'm assuming it's probably going to use up a lot more memory and uh, GPU for that. So I'll just leave that as you can see. So it's now a crosshair. Uh, it's hard to see on this white space. So first thing you're going to notice is on, on the side panel here, you got the do and undo. You got your pens, pencils, um, you know, uh, that's basically your brushes, your eraser tools, um, the current pen that's selected. You have your width and you have your opacity. Then you have your color wheel. Uh, just basically pick your color that you want. For me, I'm always, um, I'm used to drawing with blue because uh, you just do a lot of comic book panels. And if you pick blue, you can you know pick the colors, and you can see you can you know see see your pen types and stuff like that. So you can actually see the color like that. So as you pick blue, you can actually save that by just dragging that into um, one of these palettes here. So if you like you know certain tones and stuff like that, you can actually drag it and drop it in there. If you you know want some other, here we go. Let's get some hot pink. As you can see. Then as you come down, you'll get your marque tool, uh, your pen tool, straight line, you know, square, and vice versa. You got your zoom, you got your movement, and I guess you got your rotate. Then I guess whatever you're drawing, when you press that, it goes 100%. Then you have your layer palette from, you know, adding a new layer and so forth. So for me, anyways, also at the bottom here, it's very hard to see. It's opacity for your layer palette, so you can actually change the opacity for that layer itself or you know these drag handles um, on the surface because it's 1920 by 1080 it, this is pretty tiny for me to to get to so it's not something you can actually touch with your finger um, so I'll start with a, a, a new layer here first so we'll get into that and I'll switch to my blue then I'll pick you know a very light pencil for me uh, to do that so my lines are really thin now when you're drawing on the surface so I'll just start with um, you know typical head shape for me so I'm always doing this so some people draw a circle first and, and vice versa then you know then you can readjust drawing your lines so so this is this is a, a typical uh, starting point so for me when I'm drawing something so from from here you can actually see that you know I'm drawing from a certain uh, perspective so my lines are pretty thin if, if I want to get you know thicker line I'm just holding it down but because I'm picking a, a thinner pencil I can actually go in using the zoom tool and as you can see I can pretty zoom in and again pick my pencil and start drawing in my detail now drawing this close is really tough for me unless I already re-sketch something from above so if as you can see pull back out that's not really where I want my eyeballs to be but you know I'll just do this so my center 
so that's where my eyes would be lips cheekbones you know normally ears actually the eye should be higher up but anyways as you can see as you draw you can actually zoom in now I'm gonna pick something a little heavier I'm gonna add a new layer and this is gonna be my pencil layer so I'm gonna start you know drawing on black so from from a um, from a drawing point of the canvas with being infinite you can actually see so you can see I'm just drawing with this tool but if I switch to something a little bit more heavy like this and change the the pen thickness you can see it's a darker pen okay so I'm just drawing from that corner there so let's make it opacity There we go. That was just not selecting it properly. Okay, so go in. Draw my eyebrow. This guy is going to have a bushy eyebrow. at you really mean or something normally what I'll do is I'll do this on a blue line first to give myself an outline then my blue I can mess up with as you see as I start drawing with black it gets you know so what I'm going to do is just going to draw some outlines first for you, so you can actually see what I'm what I'm doing. So, if I need to get further in for detail, I can actually start using the zoom tool. As you can see, the line thickness has changes, even though I haven't changed this yet. Watch, I'll switch it over. Now, the line has gotten thinner compared to this, as you've seen before. So, you can come in here and actually zoom in and make the line even thinner. Now, that's a lot of detail. It's, it's very, very neat. It, it's, it's a new work, uh, I guess it's a new workflow that you have to get used to. See, as I zoom out, you can see this, this section of the line from that to that. So it's a really interesting, um, um, drawing tool that you can actually get into so for example um, I'll push them aside you can actually do fantastic little stuff like if, uh, if I'm doing a storyboard sequence where um, let's say you know this is, this is somebody's eye then within the eye kind of neat because now so here's the eye right our main character for now I'll start with the eye then I can come in here and say hey look at that within this eye there may be a reflection I'm pulling back on so I'll switch to the pen tool and the reflection is uh, you know they're seeing you know a side profile of somebody a big nasty uh, maybe a predator's head or something I'll just roughly sketch this Mainly this is more of a demo than, than something of actually me drawing uh, 
drawing something in detail, but as you can see, it gets, um, you know, you can pick the different pen tools to give me highlights and, and vice versa, but, you know, again, see, as I can zoom in, I can actually add more detail, finer detail, when need to be, you know, like, fine details, you know, your ads here. So, as an example, here we go. I'm zooming out. Let's make sure this is in the center. So I'm zooming out, then zooming out, then zooming out. As you can see, here I go. I'm zooming out from there. Then from there, I can start sketching. So, it's an interesting... Um, workflow like I repeat I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself hoping I get across so you can actually see the tools itself um, so you can get a lot of, of creative uh, uh, get really creative about the way you draw stuff um, because of the canvas it, it's it's the constant zooming in and out to get the detail it's kind of neat that you couldn't do before um, drawing on pen and pen pencils I used to use the uh, you know, fine tip pens, point twos, point ones, um, uh, the, the, the architecture pen, to actually get the detail I want, but with the infinite canvas, it's really neat to, to, to get into. So, um, just let you know, uh, this is Mischief 1.8, running on the Surface Pro, the first generation, not the second generation. Uh, it's an i5, um, and it's, uh, I think I have my storage at 128. Um, showing you how Mischief has worked. It's actually really, really stable compared to the first version when it was released. Um, also, at the same time, I'm also the pressure sensitivity is actually coming from the Wacom driver. Uh, Wacom has released a driver for the Surface Pro where you can actually use it on the Surface. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope this helps you out. And uh, uh, keep on drawing, I guess. Alright, here we go.